Hello everyone, Manic here, and how would you like to learn to be a black belt in karate by the end of this video? Well, one day this might be possible. So if you haven't read the title, today I wanted us to talk about mind uploading or mind transfer, which is basically just what it sounds like. Learning information by transferring it or downloading it into your brain, matrix style. This idea may seem crazy, but plenty of people think it'll be possible, and a lot of scientists are actually researching this, and believe it or not, they have pretty good results so far, on a small scale. Researchers were actually able to plant a false memory into a mouse. This mouse now has a memory that it didn't previously have, and it actually never did. Which, I'm wondering if this mouse is very confused after this experiment. But I don't know. Basically, what the researchers are doing to achieve this and kind of how it works is, <clears throat> oh sorry, is brain mapping. Memories and skills and things you do and your thoughts can all be tracked and traced in your brain by pretty much the way your neurons and synapses light up under an MRI machine. You know, they scan your brain and you, they get this really pretty picture of different colors and parts of the brain that light up when you're thinking about certain things. And this allows them to have a baseline to know if your or the mouse's brain has been changed after they download something else into it. The ultimate goal of all this would be map out the brain of someone like an athlete playing a sport they're good at, or a musician playing or writing music to use as a baseline, and then they scan your brain to see the difference in what's lit up and what's not. And of course this is an oversimplification, but from there they just need to light up the parts of your brain to match the baseline. Then you can actually learn to do those same things in a small amount of time or pretty much instantly because most of the work will be done subconsciously. Your brain will just know how to do it at that point. And that is just really cool and really awesome. Now with most of the things I like to talk about here, I like to see how far they want to push this technology and to go to the complete extreme of this idea of mind transfer, I read that one potential hope from all this studying would actually be achieving immortality, never having to die. And the way they would like to do that is to map every inch of your brain for your knowledge, your memories, the way you think, and then sending it over to a different brain or a machine and they like the idea of a machine because that takes away the limitations of a physical body. A machine, in theory, as long as the maintenance is kept up, won't break down and thus you won't die and the memory will never be lost. And this will help humans just learn and grow in advance because as of right now, the way the brains work, everybody knows at least one thing somebody else doesn't know. And it may not be a significant thing, and a lot of humans have shared knowledge, but what if every single person on the planet knew exactly everything everyone else did? From there, we could band together and make or create or invent whatever we wanted, because as soon as you learn something, let's say everybody else knows it as well, there would be no limit. Now, this is where I think it gets a little bit fun because I am a nerd and I love philosophy and studied a lot of it in college. And some people question this idea of being able to transfer yourself and yourself is actually to some people an entity and they wonder if you could transfer that to another body or machine because they have what is called a dualistic view of the world. And the short version of that is a dualist believes that the mind and the body are two separate things. And I do want to stress this right here, right now. This is not a religious debate, and religion has little to do with it. However, most religions do consist of a dualistic view. And all, a, and really, a dualist can be an atheist. And there are people like that. All a dualist really believes is that your mind is not the same thing as your brain. And uh, an example of how to explain this is a person typing on a computer. The person is typing on their keyboard and then the keyboard puts characters onto a Word document on the computer. The person represents your mind, your thoughts, your beliefs, and yourself. The keyboard is your brain 
taking in those thoughts and outputting your actions or the characters onto the document, which would be your body doing something. And this kind of begs the question, you know, if the mind and the brain are separate, they're not the same thing, can you transfer the mind by mapping the brain? There's not really a big answer for that, and it's one of those things, like I said, this is a big debate because it's kind of like the issue with cloning, is if you create an exact clone, it has your memories, it has your thought processes, but is it still you? We don't really know, but like I said, I like to push these uh, studies that I look into as far as science has gone and see what scientists think. So it'd be kind of wrong of me not to throw in the idea that maybe one day we could be immortal into this. But immortality aside, the act of learning something by downloading knowledge from someone else's brain seems like it actually could happen one day. And I think that is just an incredible advancement in humanity. And I, honestly, I would like to see the effects this would have on the world, you know, because I think there might be more of a cultural understanding between people. There'd be less discrimination, less prejudices, and we could really do a lot of good things for all this. But it's not something that's probably going to happen here anytime soon, especially on such a big scale. Possibly learning things on an individual basis could happen in maybe the next hundred years, depending on how fast we keep advancing with technology. But a global brain network, kind of like the Borg from Star Trek, um, that's probably a very long ways off. But like I said, we're just going to have to wait and see what happens. And I hope you all enjoyed this video and the things, you know, we talked about. Uh, leave a comment below on if you could download one thing into your brain that you, you want to be able to do, like play an instrument or a sport or something. Just comment that below because I'm curious on what you guys would, you know, want to download. And as always, subscribe if you want to stay up to date on these random things that I like to study and talk about. So I will see you all next time, Manic.